Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Whoa! I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Most people just call it NCRCF, that's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup, killed the guards that weren't able to escape, and have been ransacking the area since then. I have some free time, ask away. Sir? I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. 
paradise, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that and turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. A beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. See ya. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Well, you look to be a trustworthy sort. Okay. I'll tell you what I know. I overheard them saying that they're on their way to Novak. If you want to follow them, I strongly suggest that you follow the road through Nipton. There are a lot of dangerous things out in the desert. And you won't have me with you to protect you, as I need to stay here and keep Prim safe. It would be so very delightful if you set me free. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you find my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation, not to diminish your role, in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Ah, yes. 
My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Hello again. I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Uh -oh. Got something for you. That's all. Yeah. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. 
Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Have you gotten us any additional support yet? Roger. Hello? Yeah? We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the Powder Gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Have you gotten us any additional support yet? Roger. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Oh, uh, night. You must not be from around here. If so, doesn't do to get too friendly. This isn't the Republic. Oddly enough, Legion's a little more forgiving about... friendships. Out here it's not as accepted. Not that I mind being friends, it's just being open about it in the outpost. Well, I have to work here. I would, perhaps some other time. When my orders take me to Vegas, perhaps. I wish things were different, but might take some time. If you need something repaired, let me know. I can sign the work order. As long as caps change hands, I can put them back in yours. Let me sign off on the work order for you then. Goodbye. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Help. Now look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. And you look like you can handle yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. This one looks pretty tough. Fighting over.
This one looks pretty tough. Bad guys dealt with. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. Take care. Cool your heels over in the barracks if you want. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example for the others. I know Ranger Jackson appreciates it. Prim? Hayes units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? I'd like to help, but we can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. I see the wisdom in that. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some additional support. Sir. Hello. Yeah? Yeah, I just got word of that. There's a squad of rangers standing by. Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff and the rangers will be his deputies. This town will be in NCR territory. This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR citizens and pay any appropriate and associated taxes. Roger. I'll radio them over now. Was that all? Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> Bye.
Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. As are all crimes, if you feel strongly about it, attack us, and soon you won't feel a thing. Ready? Steady. Retro Retro You like that? Cessation of hostilities complete. Butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. Be seeing you. God damn it. Sneak up on me like that. What do you want? I think you better leave. I don't have friends here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. I said it was a start. This town, nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. Yeah. Hey there. Is everything all right? 
awful late to be dropping in unexpected. How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Okay, if that's what you think. We haven't seen anybody in a while. Maybe the monsters have stealth suits too. That's it then. How did you know? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. You don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't going to end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Fine by me. What's going on, man? Sure I know him. What do you want with him? Must be something pretty important to be chasing a guy like that. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Yeah, 
I... Everybody depends on you, you know? But they don't ask you about how you feel, what you worry about. There's something I like about you. You just seem really understanding. I was gonna ask you for a favor, but I'll just tell you what you want to know. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. Glad I could help. Hey, I know you've got no reason to help me out now, but you seem really nice. Could I at least tell you about the problem we've got here? See? I was right about you. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. Yeah, see ya. Over here! Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry! Like I said, find the metal staircase in the big room on the east side of the building. It's where they used to make rockets. Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. Get moving. This one looks pretty tough. guys dealt with. Time to fight. Fighting over. Ready, steady, fighty. Bad guys dealt with. Time to fight. That's all. This one looks pretty tough. This one looks pretty tough. That's all.
that, Antler? We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Antler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Antler, I'll ask. Ah, uh, hi, human. Why you come here? I am in command of my faculties, in command of my troops. Antler guides me in all things, as I in turn guide my kin. Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Antler, the human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. Cut it out, human. Serious final warning. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You mean the ones upstairs? Antler used intercom, told him stay put. But they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. Yes. Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey. You're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? And I bet he told you it's the Creator's will for you to risk your ass, instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement. And I went after him. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room, set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you, that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. 
She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement. She's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. Did you find my friend? I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Liar! The envoy said stealth boys here. Antler read it out loud to me. 
But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so easy. Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. Hello. Is the way clear? Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Yes, the rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. 
That's where you come in. When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. I thought we were past all that, smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice, then. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversum. He likes machines. Haversum won't mind getting irradiated. Haversum won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversum won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversum. You're neurotic. Bald? You call this bald, Smoothskin? I'm a monster. A monster! Oh, God. You're telling me the truth, aren't you? Oh, no. How could they do this to me? For two years? My God, I've been a joke to them. Do you have any idea how easy it'd be for me to sabotage those rockets? That'd be a joke, huh? One hell of a joke. What, you think I'm too stupid to pull it off? I know enough to get their rockets working, don't I? So I can make them fail, too. Like I could forgive myself for getting duped like this? They used me, and now they'll throw me away. Dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland, is that it? Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. I'll get Jason and his flock on their way, and then I'll head for Novak. Are you ready to get started? Those rockets aren't going to launch themselves. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Hi 
there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. I know I'm not young and pretty anymore, but I appreciate the thought all the same. Here, take the parts, you flatterer. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Have you found the components we discussed? Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. All I need now is the igniting agent we discussed earlier. Bye. Yeah. Have you found the components we discussed? Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Yes, I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. The rockets are ready, Jason. The great journey can begin. Good luck, I guess. Hello. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long-abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks, and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Not now! Chris, it is almost time for the great journey! This great journey Later. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hello. Hey. 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 I'm gonna make my way to that little town we talked about. I'm gonna make my way to that little town we talked about.
Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't gonna be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Sure thing. I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's Boone. Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get... This is a restricted area. State your business. Or you're a Legion spy trying to infiltrate our perimeter. Give me one good reason I should let you through. No need. We already have an expert hard at work on it. Then again, our expert is an idiot. Hell, he might as well be a saboteur. I guess you couldn't do any worse. Have him fill you in on the details. He's in the back of the building. You'll know him when you see him. Keeps his sunglasses on all the time, even when he's sleeping. There should, but we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. Damned if I know. Put up a hell of a fight, though. We had them outnumbered, I don't know, 20 to 1, maybe? They held out as long as they could, lost most of their force before they retreated. Gave us a little parting gift, too. They had some of the plant running, but they shut it all down. Enabled an old security system, too, to keep us away from the controls. <sighs> Jerk-offs. Later.
Who the hell are you? They bring you in to replace me? They're replacing me, aren't they? Damn right you're not. God damn right. Why would they? You can't top this guy. Just a little more time. You can't keep Fantastic down for long. Worried? Do I look worried to you? I've got this under control, baby. No one else can do what I do here. What else? I'm in charge. This whole operation depends on me. No Fantastic, no power. Got the whole NCR suckling my teats. And it feels so good. Well, see, we're getting power because the guy running this place is fantastic. But the mirrors outside aren't aimed right, so we're running at 1% efficiency. And I guess that just isn't good enough for some assholes. Trouble is, most of the controls for this place aren't here. They're in the tower. And that place has some crazy pre-war security system that the dumb shit NCR set off when they took over. Killed two guys. Now they won't go near it. They want me to make an omelet, but I can't break any of their eggs. Know what I'm saying? There's these two terminals outside. They control the mirrors. I tried fooling with them, but didn't get very far. You'd have to get them to talk to the mainframe up in the tower, then do the rest from up there. I'm guessing, but it sounds good, right? Hey, you're not thinking about going up there, are you? Well, hey, if you find yourself up at the mainframe, do yourself a favor and make sure you send the power to the right place. It needs to go to the Strip and McCarran. Because I get paid, that's why, per kilowatt hour. Whatever the hell that is. That's where the NCR wants the power, so that's where I want it. But you know, you do that, maybe I put in a good word for you with them. Fantastic's little helper. There's a reputation you can hang your hat on. Here. you want this. It's the password to one of the terminals outside. Found it written on one of the stalls in the bathroom. It's unusual to see a new face here. Are you a soldier or a scientist? Then we have that in common. Whom do you typically work with? You're right, I'm sorry. That imbecile in the next room has me on edge. I used to be more fun. I'm still passionate about my work, though. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I'm in the Followers of the Apocalypse. How about you? That's reassuring. Although many who've made that claim to the followers of the Apocalypse over the years have had less than pure intentions. But if it's really as you say, then take my advice. This installation carries with it dangers that no one here has realized. Take care what you do here and who you listen to. Some things are best left buried with the old world. I don't entirely know. Our records on the company that built this place suggest that their dealings were not only in energy, but also in weapons. And I've seen equipment here marked with symbols used by the pre-war military. Targeting computers, shock sensors. A code word comes up repeatedly in the papers I've looked through here. Archimedes. Yes. And the technology they have in this facility is like nothing I've seen. Some of it reminds me of Enclave equipment, but more advanced. A weapon based upon it would be catastrophic, no matter who claimed it. It's no wonder the Brotherhood wouldn't give it up. They weren't here for me to ask, but I doubt they were here for electricity. When the NCR first came here, it was under Brotherhood control. They usually steered clear of one another, but something here changed their minds. The Brotherhood's interest in pre-war technology has always been in weapons. It's likely they were trying to reclaim Archimedes when the NCR arrived. Then I would say do it. As long as the power of this plant is committed to the regional grid and not to a weapon, we are safe. If you're the one to restore output, then you can route the power where you choose, and they'll never be the wiser. I can't get you past the security in the tower, but I can be of some help. I've discovered a password for one of the mirror control terminals outside. 
You'll need it. Oh, the NCR has their own designs for it, no doubt. But resist the urge to send it only to the thriving communities. The need for power is great everywhere. Distributing it evenly is the most rational and humane choice. Not yet. By some miracle, they've hired an imbecile to try and decipher the systems here. He spent months working at one console trying to get the solar reflectors to track the sun. What he doesn't know is that the only thing the console controls is the plant's intercom system. I tried to tell him, but he insisted that the largest console had to be the most important. Still, it's only a matter of time. Goodbye. What can I help you with? I saw that on the monitors here, and you sent it to everyone. Very admirable. Now that the NCR is more or less what they want, hopefully their curiosity about the plan is satisfied, and they'll dig no deeper. The followers will be grateful. Here, take these as a parting gift. I hope you'll find them useful. Goodbye. Yo. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. 
Tell myself I'm doing some good. Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet, and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel, just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Huh. <laughs> People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. Hold up. There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. They moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks, but now the death claws have shown up. The NCR is a no-show, and my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. I don't know what it is about you, but I think you could actually pull it off. Death Claws are tough bastards, but you might be even tougher. Nobody here is any use to you in a fight against Death Claws, but take these medical supplies. You'll probably need them. To do the job right, you've got to get rid of the pack leaders, the Mother Death Claw and the Death Claw Alpha Male. Should run the rest of them off. Uh, we'd see them occasionally, but they didn't seem too keen on getting too close to the quarry. Not sure if it was the noise or all the workers. I can't believe that an entire pack moved into the quarry. I thought that kind of bad luck only happened in New Vegas. Poor Snuffles. Wish somebody could do something about his leg. It's too damn hot.
glad that no one has ever been as unnoticed as me. This one looks pretty cool. Fighting over. Ready, steady, fighty. Was that all? Steady, fighty. That's all. This one looks pretty tough. Fighting over. Bad guys dealt with. Uh oh. Bad guys dealt with.
starting combat. Just kidding. Snuffle's leg seems to have gotten better. You need something? I'd noticed Snuffle's limping, but I didn't realize the problem was that serious. Thanks. That beast helps keep spirits up around here. Now, coming from anyone else, I'd say they were drunk or crazy. But that look in your eyes, I believe you. I can pay you, but it ain't much for what you pulled off. I'll get on the ham radio first thing and tell people all about you, though. Back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. Keep saying things like that and I won't be so friendly. Not every super mutant is a brain-damaged brute. Many of us are just as intelligent as basic humans. And the rest don't really have any choice in the matter, do they? And none taken, since you apologized. You must have heard her radio broadcasts. Though why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me, unless you didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. Help would improve the odds. Help might just make the difference. Alright, if you're good enough at what you do to meet me in the village up near the peak, we can talk further. I'll have a plan by the time I see you, if I see you. Good luck. It's gonna be a lot harder for you to get up there than it will be for me.
A pleasant surprise to see you made it. I'm ready to get started if you are. Here's the plan. The gate to Tabitha's compound is guarded by several Nightkin, all of them using devices that make them invisible. I'm going to draw them away from the gate by telling them I spotted an intruder in the village. Then you slip in. Good luck. We're going to need it. direct me to Mistress Tabitha. Thank you very much. My internal clock says it's been six years, 52 days, 40 minutes, and 13 seconds since I last spoke to her. I hope she hasn't gotten lonely. R Rhonda? Is that you? It is, Mistress Tabitha. How I've missed you, sir. This stranger here fixed me up right as rain. Is he a friend of yours? I... don't know how to thank you for bringing Rhonda back to me, stranger. Here, take this. I won't be needing it anymore. I don't know. It's been so long since I lost Rhonda that I'm not sure. Mistress Tabitha, we should be heading off. Our journey has been much delayed. But we can catch up if we hurry. Come along now. Yes, Father. 